Look at this picture. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a honey amber color, thumbprint pattern. I think it's Hazel Atlas from the 1950s or 60s. The only thing that would make it better is if we could find the matching glasses around the corner. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. Happy New Year! It's January 1st as I'm filming this. I just pulled up to Goodwill. I was a bit worried on the way over because I thought they might be closed and I hadn't checked. It is Saturday, which means there's going to be a color of the day where all items of that color are just $1. So that's really exciting. Let's go in and see what they have. Let's go thrifting. I'm very prepared today. I've got my mask. I've got my new thrifting blanket that my mum got for me. It's working really, really well. I've got some bags and paper and I'm all set. I'm excited about this color of the day sale. Let's see if we can find any dollar items. Let's go inside. We'll grab our cart. This one looks good. There we go. It's quite busy today. Only a few carts left. The color of the day is green. All green tags are just one dollar. Let's make our way back to the hard goods and see what we can find. I'm really excited. I went over to our new house yesterday and the floors are almost all in. They look fantastic. I took a bit of footage and I'll drop it in at the end of this video so you can see as well. They're a bit dusty, but they look amazing. Here we are at the back of the store where all the hard goods are. The shelves look really full. I'm quite excited. Let's start over on this side and we'll see what they have. But right away, I'm seeing a couple of things that I like. Some birds on this top shelf. It's a little dolphin ashtray. This is a really sweet little bird. It's an English great tit, but unfortunately it's damaged. That duck is a big lots guy. I love the drip glaze of this delicate little vase. It's pottery. It's really nicely done. Beautiful drip glaze and some raw pottery mixed in. I definitely want that. Oh goodness, I was so excited to shop that I forgot to put my new Thrifting Vegas blanket in. There we go. Thrifting Vegas blanket is in the cart. Now I'm ready to shop. Look at this gorgeous little iris on this pottery vase. It's lovely. It's signed Pascal. It's got a blue pinstripe. We're on a roll. There's one more thing over here that caught my eye. This little baseball hat guy with the funny eyes. <laughs> He's a little bit scary. I'm going to think about that for a minute. There's a baggie here with some fun stuff inside. Looks like some nesting dolls, some little birds. There's a ceramic shoe. I'm looking for signatures on the pieces and I'm not seeing anything. It is $5.99, so 
I think I'm going to leave that for somebody else. Over here, there's one more little pottery piece. It's got a rooster on it. It's made in Belgium. Very vintage. It's only 69 cents, so I'm going to take it. On the quilt it goes. Let's keep going. Some dolls down on the bottom there. Just having a look at this glass bowl. It looks like the color is flashed on there and it's quite lightweight. I think it's a replica of a vintage piece. Lots of frames, some coasters here, some collector plates, this is like a flattened bottle that someone has stuck a Christmas, uh, maybe a Christmas card on the back. Just curious to see what this is. I think it's a tile. It's a trivet with a fruit basket on it. Over here, there's a lovely little piece of amber glass. It looks like um, button and cane pattern. It's tri-footed. No chips or cracks. It's lovely. Very vintage. Only 99 cents. One more thing. A few familiar pieces. We've seen some of these before, haven't we? Let's check this top shelf. I love this rooster, but sadly he's got a massive hole in his tail. That is just a shame. Because he is lovely. Not a very expensive piece, but uh, he shows well. of candle holders. It's a little teeny tiny vase. It almost looks like a, um, a sample to show off the paint colors. That's really sweet. I'll take that. Some more baggies over here. What's this? Somebody's project coaster, I think. It's like a landscape. It's actually quite nice. Baggies. There's some rocks in there. I do love fossils, so if I find fossils, I will pick them up. Look at this rhinoceros. He's fantastic. <laughs> I think he's carved stone, possibly soapstone, but he's really great. There's a couple of little uh, fake plants in there. <laughs> Here is the clear glass and the platters over here. This purple one is quite stunning. It's a very modern mass produced piece though. I love this little saucer. Nuts and fruits on it. Old Nuremberg. You know what I'm going to do I think is take this and see if I can find the matching cup in the mug section. have a browse through the crystal oh <laughs> there's another one of these crazy hats with the eyes 
This one's the Steelers. You know what? This is a sign. I was meant to have these. <laughs> I'm just going to grab this little um, Godinger candlestick. There's the mark. I recognize the grapes pattern. Hopefully on our travels around the store, we will find its matching pair. Pop that there. This is an interesting little plate with a uh, dish with hobnails. Check this candle, no signature. Lots of candles today. Party light. Just going to check and see what this one back here is looks a bit Costa Boda ish but it, it I thought it's actually a candle it's not a candle holder let's have a quick look over here lots of ashtrays ashtrays are actually very trendy at the moment people use them for many different purposes trinket dishes for paint brushes for coins and change, for keys, odds and ends. This is a pretty piece, but uh, I thought it might be Steuben, but it isn't marked. It's a bit too lightweight. It doesn't feel right. There's no mark there, so I would venture to say that it's possibly Mikasa or Ikea, something like that. is one of the ashtrays I was talking about quite nice nice cut glass very heavy is the holiday section st. Patrick's Day down here a little bit of Thanksgiving and fall coming back The shelf is Valentine's Day over here. Some sort of 4th Fourth of, Fourth of July patriotic things. And over on the end is Easter, which will probably be expanding as we move through into spring. I'm seeing a trend towards these baggies, which is a little bit uh, scary because they're just putting all sorts of ceramics and porcelains and breakables in together. And of course, when that is done there's a tendency for breakages which is really a shame some egg molds it's a big tray here just gonna pull this out and see if it's signed I don't think it's very old it looks to be a replica of a vintage piece here Again, it just doesn't feel right. Moving around here into what's left of Christmas. We'll just have a quick look through to see if there's anything new on these shelves. Mm, 
eastery bits again around here. Not much Christmas left, which is good, which means they've sold through an awful lot of stock. Some cards and paper and bags left. Some tins up here and boxes. These sweet little tabletop trees are still all here. Tiffany? <gasps> Hello! I found something that I was thinking about you, I, and I'm just, just seeing you is great. I don't always come to this that's store, the, but oh, that's gorgeous! I saw it went. I wonder if she would like this or not. Yes, so, um, look at that. It's gorgeous. But I know nothing about this world, so I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't. And then know, I saw you. Yeah, I don't know that it's that valuable, but it's certainly gorgeous. Are you? Are you I'm gonna not take it? No, You're it's not? not my world. It's not my world. Do you at all. mind if I do? Absolutely. If Would you, you like to? Look at your that's... blanket. You're so crazy. <laughs> did you it. see when my mum got that for me last no, video? No, I didn't. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm did. behind a few because of the holidays, so right? I didn't catch up. But it was great to see you. Oh, you I've too. Been, Thank um, you. I popped into your vintage store. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what it was? The th what does he call it? Swap me. I swap guess. Me, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I it was beautiful stuff. Beautiful oh, stuff. great! So, um, well, so good thank to see you. you. Good thank to you see for you. saying and hi. And I might hopefully run into you now and again. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Right. Merry, Merry Christmas and Happy New Happy Year. Happy New Year. That was one of my lovely subscribers, Liz. She's local here in Las Vegas, and it was so fun to run into her. Funnily enough, that gorgeous vase hadn't been in my cart, but five minutes when another lady I know who's in here all the time came up to me and she said, if you change your mind about that vase, it would go so perfectly in my kitchen. So me being me, I gave it to her. I just noticed, this is Floyd Bunny, he's Christmas around the world, and I noticed his sister up here on the other end, Flossie, here she is, so I'm going to put those together. I actually had those two bunnies when I was in college, a colleague of mine um, <laughs> in my internship uh, was doing Christmas around the world and I bought them and I recently sold them in Danny the Niche Lady's live uh, sale that she has on Fridays. Okay, this is a willow tree figurine and sadly her hand is broken. They used to sell quite well for me, but um, sadly not as well anymore. I think we've just about come to the end of this Christmas aisle. We've got the glasses and mugs of which there are still many, many. Having a quick scan. Just not seeing anything that's jumping out at me. Have a quick look at this guy. It's quite fun. He's a modern Libby piece. I don't really want to put him by for next year. So we'll leave him. Getting into the basket and the wood. Look at these sweet little birds. <laughs> they are lovely. Very springy, aren't they? Lots of signs, trays, and frames over here. There's a clock, that's quite fun. Oh, but it's cracked. That's a shame. Some huge praying hands. They're very lightweight. Oh, I do like this little pot. I want to say it's missing a lid, but it would really be quite a nice little planter, wouldn't it? I'll take that. Pot. 
see the possibilities. I see the possibilities of this gorgeous wood board underneath here. I don't know if you can see, but this is actually a uh, cross cut of a tree. The, look at the grain. You can see the rings. And um, I know that you should be able to count the rings and see the age of the tree. That is amazing. It is in desperate need of some mineral oil. And I think that I can make it look fantastic. Maybe I will do that as a little project um, as part of one of my upcoming videos. That would be fun. I'll take that more signs up here some coasters lots of knife blocks If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Somebody put together a ski uh, little 3D frame there. We're in the vases and the florals, having a look through. It's a little lidded jar there. It's very thin though. I would be very hesitant to ship that. Some little air plant holders here. Just picking up anything that looks like it could be vintage to me, checking the bottom, checking the weight, looking for signatures. Often all it takes is just to pick a piece up and you can tell that the quality just isn't there. The ceramic or pottery is thin and it just doesn't have significant weight. Or just the quality of the item, the glaze, the, uh, the feel of it tells you that it's not a quality piece. There's a blue one of these. I shall pop it down here. Cookies and cream. That doesn't sound familiar to me. I don't know if they're vases or sundae holders, but there's a green and a pink one here. Let's put those together. This is a like a Miele Fiori pattern. But it seems to be applied on top of the glass. It's a florist's piece. Moving into the florals over here. Little hummingbird feeder. Very faded. Some wreaths. Yeah. 
going into the metal section. The shelves over here are a little bit empty today. I wonder if they're getting ready for some new stock. Here's an Easter piece. This looks fun. You get this sorted and maybe we can hang it up so somebody will buy it. There we go. That's really sweet. Pop it there and everybody can see it. There we go. This looks like it could be Nambi, but it's not marked. Lots of candle holders and racks here. Jewelry holders, photo holders, candlesticks. I think this is just made to look old. A little paper fan, a wine rack, oh this is very interesting, it's like a wicker covered vase which is ceramic the work is so fine though it's just woven but it's really really delicate I like that It's another of those, a yellow one. I'll go pop that with its friends in a minute. It's a knife and fork little bowl. That's fun. Very modernist. Could perhaps use this rack in my new bathroom cabinets. Think about that. Just rounded the corner and I spot Jesus and children on the shelf. It's one ninety nine and it's Lennox. I think he needs a bit of a scrub. It's a bit gummy on the bottom, but we'll take him. Here we are in the mugs. I think most of the mugs that are left in the store are actually Christmas and so they've gone over to the Christmas section. So this is a lovely little cobalt teacup. Can't quite read that. I need my glasses. We'll see if we can find the saucer. Look at this. This is gorgeous. This is Yadro Dolphins. I believe it's a votive candle holder, not a mug. But we'll take that. It's a lovely big set of mugs here.
It's really good that they seem to sell through things. You know, hopefully people know that if they need mugs, if they need a set or glasses or plates, that Goodwill always has a nice selection for really a reasonable price. Oh, there's Star Trek. Star Trek items are always worth looking at. This is Next Generation Captain Picard. I'm going to pop that there and look up and see what that's going for. Um, I will look it up on eBay. eBay sold items. eBay sold items will show you everything similar to the search you put in that sold in the previous three months. Looking for another of those little cobalt teacups. But sadly, there doesn't seem to be more than one. Getting into the glasses here. These are interesting, oh, but they're very lightweight. No weight at all. I really like those amber glasses. They're such a great shape. Very vintage. I'll have a think about those, I think. So many glasses. Not seeing any brand names today. Nothing that's jumping out at me. Although I do like that set of four amber glasses down there. I might end up with those before we leave. <laughs> This entire row is dedicated to mugs and glasses. Here we are in the kitcheny bits, my favorite aisle. You just never know what's going to show up in here. And I just spotted an antique ruffle pitcher. It looks like it's hand painted. It's gorgeous. The ladies of the house back in the Victorian days used to take plates and cups and saucers and apparently pictures and paint them in their spare time. This is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really old. I am definitely going to take that. It's beautiful. Now, where was I? I sort of skipped a whole shelf section. I was so excited. <laughs> Here we are. Let's continue with the clear glass bowls and creamers, dishes. Got my black light. Just waving it around, seeing if anything lights up green for me. Quite like that little Japanese cake stand. Clear is just not a great seller for me, unfortunately. So I do need to stick to what sells. Yellows and purples, ambers. I love this. I was hoping it was going to glow. 
It looks gorgeous with uh, fruit or nuts in it. Look at that. So many pieces. Another ashtray there. Lots of cups. Well, these are interesting, I think made in sweden i want to say that these are tall egg cups for what i call dippy eggs soft boiled eggs that you dip your toast in i'll take those that other green vase is still here but that's a made in china piece Lots of familiar things, things we've seen before. It's a sweet little flower bowl. Can't quite read that, possibly Germany. It's a picnic set. Pie plates. Nesting balls. This is interesting. From Made in India nut bowl. This looks like uh, Le Creuset, but it's actually Emile Henry. That might be worth picking up. Little ramekin. And this one is not as good of a brand. So Emile Henry and Le Creuset on the little ramekins. They fetch quite a bit of profit on eBay. I have one of these for my coffee, my travel mug. They work really well keeping the coffee hot. This one's a bit scratched, otherwise I might pick up a second one. Lots of pots and pans, extra lids. Cookie trays and muffin pans down there. Bunt pan. Do be on the lookout for vintage rolling pins because those sell ever so well, especially the ornate ones. This is a corkscrew and wine set within that glass there. Checking up on the top shelf here. We've got an ultimate pizza party and a camping stove. Some polystyrene cups. Always check the flatware bags because you never know. There might be some solid silver in there. That's a pineapple light that's a bit warped from the heat. Some more bags. That one looks like it's been checked through already. These, I believe, are Atlas Bakelite handled knives from England. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that those are worth picking up. So let's get those in the cart with a nutcracker thrown in. Some muffin pans here. 
just making my second round of the store before I leave and they just put out this gorgeous art glass vase sort of a trumpet shape that curls around to make it stand up it would be lovely with a single bloom I just stepped back to rearrange my cart for two seconds and one of the ladies put these two lovely 3D paperweights out in the space I just made from that vase. This one's balloons and a lighthouse and dolphins and the other one's a piano. Back here is a little pine tree stocking holder. I really like this. I'm going to pick this up for the cabin I will have one day. <laughs> Let's get these in the cart. They're a little bit heavy, so I'm going to pop them down underneath on here so that I don't crush anything. So the fact that there are two of these and that they're still here on my second go round tells me that I need to pick them up. I'm going to grab the Steelers one and the uh, Boston Red Sox one. They're both $2.99 a piece. They look quite vintage. Let's fit them in the cart. I just saw this new piece that they put out. This place is for the birds. This is perfect for my friend, Danny the Niche Lady. I came back around here and I missed these the first time. Some really nice stainless steel salt and pepper grinders. They're the kind that you push the button on the top and it grinds out the bottom. Ooh, look at these. These are ceramic knives. They're actually Kyocera Uline, and I know they're quite pricey. This lady just brought out a new cart, so let's have a little peek and see if there's anything here that we can buy. A couple of shells. Oh, look at this beautiful shell. It's a dollar ninety nine. We'll take that. The conch shell is quite damaged, so I'll leave that one. I'm going to have a closer look at these candlesticks in a moment. Yes, this guy is just a bit too damaged and broken. We'll leave that one for someone else. Look at this picture. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a honey amber color, thumbprint pattern. I think it's Hazel Atlas from the 1950s or 60s. The only thing that would make it better is if we could find the matching glasses around the corner. So I'm back in the glasses aisle looking for the matching Hazel Atlas glasses and I'm revisiting these but my eye just saw what I was looking for. There's only two sadly they're supposed to be four but these are the matching tumblers for that picture. Hazel Atlas thumbprint. They're gorgeous. And they're only 69 cents. Let's pop those in the cart. I just happened to turn around in the same aisle with the glasses and mugs. And this baggie sitting on top of a pile of plates caught my eye. There's a red creamer and several of these little beer mug shot glasses in a baggie. I'm going to take those. Look at this gorgeous little copper planter. It looks like a cauldron. It's definitely vintage with its original sticker. 
and somebody has actually polished it up beautifully. I think it would normally have quite an aged patina on it, but it looks brand new. This is the miscellaneous hardware aisle, the sporty stuff. I don't often find much in this aisle. But there's something over here that caught my eye. It's a money box up here. Let's see if I can open it. Uh-oh. Maybe it doesn't have a key. That's a bummer. Down here, there is a little vintage needle pointer. Aspen trees for $2. It's brand new. That's a good buy. At the end of this aisle is the frames. Today is a good day, as my dad would say. <laughs> Lots of little frames and pictures. That one's pretty, some flowers in the sun. I generally just look at these pictures for my own uh, personal use because they just don't sell very well on eBay. The market is so flooded with pictures and frames. This is fun. It sort of has a Mackenzie Childs look with the check black and white, little bird and melons. It's fun. Over here, it looks like an Ann Geddes little child with the flower uh, theme. Again, just to not too much resale value in those. See, down here is an eagle plate. This falls into the collector plate realm and uh, sadly they're just not worth that much for resale. Maybe 10 to 15 most. Let's have a stroll through the art. Somebody has been quite busy doing these gorgeous, uh, looks like poster paint of the United States and the world. Those are quite impressive. This looks like a Van Gogh layered print. And lots and lots of frames, mostly modern canvases as usual. Have a quick stroll through the furniture and then we'll go check out the telescope here. Quite a nice lady's bicycle for a hundred dollars. Some bigger toys, a fish tank. Have a quick look through the cushions and pillows and we'll call it a day. It's New Year's Eve and I've stopped by the house to look at the work that's been done already. Apparently they've laid most of the floor. I've got just a bit more to do.
Oh, there's some boxes of it there. The stairs are still bare. I would imagine that's the last thing that gets done. And then they put the stair baseboard in. There we go. Oh, look. It's really dusty because it's still going in, but I just love the color. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. They've really done a lot. They've stopped here because this is where my linen closet is going to extend out from the master bath that's on the other side of this wall. So this will be all built out here into a linen closet. We opted for completely seamless floors with no thresholds. Color looks amazing. There's my son's room, Jake's room. The bathroom's already been demoed. We're having the bathrooms demoed one at a time. They're gonna finish out the kids' uh, bathroom first. So in the event that we need to move in before they're finished, we'll have one working bathroom. That looks so amazing. I'm just thrilled with the color. And when it's all cleaned and polished, it'll look even better. It's Miley's room here. And this is the guest room. Wow, that is so exciting. The laundry room. I'm just thrilled with that. Yay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the haul. Here on my table is everything I got at Goodwill. I didn't realize I got so much, but most of the pieces are little. Bandit is here, fast asleep. Look at that face. Hi, Bandit. He's very, very tired. He needs a nap after his sleep. First we have this gorgeous little soapstone uh, rhinoceros. He looks to be quite vintage. A few scuffs and scrapes from age. He came in a baggie with this cactus and this little plastic succulent for $2.99. And I value him at $15. This is a ramekin by Emile Henry of, of France. This along with Le Creuset are the ramekins and uh, bakeware you want to look out for because they have great resale value. I was hoping I was going to find more than one of these but by itself this is worth Twelve to fifteen dollars. I found two of these three D paperweights. I don't know if you can see that. This is a ballet dancer next to a grand piano with musical notes overhead. It's lovely. And the other one is um, an ocean scene going up to hot air balloons, there's dolphins, a lighthouse, a sailboat and balloons at the top. They were 99 cents a piece and I value these at 20 to 25 dollars a piece. This is a Goldinger silver plated candlestick with a grape motif. Again, I was really hoping to find a second one of these by itself, 15 to $20. This is a Lennox figurine, Jesus and 
children. It was $1.99 and I value it $15 to $20. This gorgeous copper pot is older than it looks. It has its original vintage sticker on it. I paid 69 cents for it and I value it at $20. This fun sign, this place is for the birds, is my, for my friend Danny the Niche Lady. She recently rescued eight additional birds. Um, she already had four, so she is definitely the bird whisperer and hopefully she'll enjoy this sign. Over here we have a little grouping of small pottery vases. This one I believe might be a sample of paint colours. It's quite lightweight, china. It was 69 cents. I value it at 12 to 15 dollars. This one has a rooster on it. It's handmade in Belgium. Definitely vintage. I value it 15 to 20 dollars. This one's beautiful. Really nicely made and painted with irises. It's signed Pascal and I value this one 20 to 25 dollars. This bud vase is not marked, but I just love the drip glaze with the raw pottery exposed there. Similar at the base and dripping down of the glaze with raw pottery at the bottom. It was 99 cents. Again, I value this at 25 to 30 dollars. This is a Chinese vase. It's intricately woven over porcelain or ceramic. It does have a tiny bit of damage. I don't know if you can see that right there. Just a little bit of damage. And right here, a little scuff. I paid $1.99 for it and I value it at $20. This was probably one of my favorite finds of the day. This is a antique green glass pitcher. It has a little bit of gold trim around the ruffle there and it's hand painted. It's a really nice size. You can see the molded glass there. It's got some good weight to it. I paid $3.99 for it and I value it at $45 to $50. Back here we have what I think is a butcher's block made out of rounds of uh, wood. It could really use a good soaking in mineral oil so in my next video or upcoming videos, I will show you what a difference it makes when wood is, a, is a coated with a good layer of mineral oil. It really brings it back to life. Over here, we have a little vintage needle point. Needle pointers spring aspen. I paid two dollars for it and I value this at 15 to 20 dollars. Here we have a little pottery planter. I'm calling it a planter. It might have originally had a lid and been a canister but it is a beautiful piece. I just love the colors. Gorgeous rich brown 
So without the lid, which may or not may or may not have been uh, lost, it would make an excellent planter. I was thrilled to find this Hazel Atlas amber water pitcher and two glasses. It's absolutely gorgeous from the 50s or 60s. Thumbprint pattern. It's just a stunning amber honey color. And I'm hoping that when I pop back to Goodwill in the next few days, the other two glasses might be on the shelf. In the meantime, I picked up these four tall tumblers because they matched pretty closely in color and I just really liked the streamlined shape of them. In the store, I thought these were actually egg holders, but they appear to be candle holders. They have a little indent for a tapered candle in the top there. A nicely sleek, a very Scandinavian design. They're made in Sweden, stamped on the bottom. I paid $1.99 for them, and I value them at $25 to $30 for the pair. This is a pair of Uline electric uh, battery operated salt and pepper grinders. I paid $1.99 a piece for them, and I value them at $25 for the pair. This is probably my most profitable find of the day, a set of Kyocera uh, ceramic knives. I paid $4.99 for them, and on Amazon they are listed for $99. I wasn't quite sure about these two. They are wall hangings. They appear to be vintage by looking at the hanger. They're chalkware, which you don't see very often anymore. One is the Steelers, one is the Boston Red Sox, and they have these strange little eyes attached to them. So if anyone is familiar with these, if you had them as a child, if you can help me out and tell me who makes them and uh, what the significance of the eyes are, that would be fabulous. I paid $2.99 for them and I would absolutely be open to offers if you're interested. Thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. You can pay by PayPal if you just send me your mailing address. I'm not sure whether these knives have uh, bake light handles or whether they're just plastic. They're definitely vintage. They are made by the Atlas Company. They're fine stainless steel from Sheffield, England. I can get that to focus. Doesn't want to. Atlas. Uh, fine stainless Sheffield England and it looks like there's three six ten of those here we have a pine tree stocking holder as many of you know I love glass pine trees and these really appeal to me too uh, immediately I hope to someday have a cabin, maybe up in Utah, by a lake, and I am accumulating decorative pieces that I intend to put in my cabin. <laughs> this is a gorgeous abalone shell. The rainbow colors are just stunning. glazed absolutely lovely i paid a dollar 99 for it i value it at 20 to 25 dollars this i found in the mug section it's a yard row 
Collector's Society Dolphin Votive Holder. It's absolutely lovely. White bone china. Dolphins on it. I paid 69 cents. I value it at 20 to 25 dollars. This is a gorgeous art glass vase. It's sort of orange and red swirls. Put a wa uh, water in there and then probably just a single stem would be beautiful. Or even just display it as is. I paid $1.99 for it. I value it at $20 to $25. I don't know if I kept captured these on camera they were in a bag i believe they are chinese opera masks they are um i don't know what they are they're some sort of ceramic porcelain and they're painted oops a little ball fell off his headdress there. You can probably fix that. There's two of them. I paid $2.99 for them and I value the pair at $20. I will hold on to that and glue it back where it goes. This little set here the little uh, bucket, the two barrel shot glasses, the green glass, the red creamer, and the little turquoise bottle all came in a baggie for $5.99. This is a really gorgeous creamer. I can't actually find the maker. There's very uh, similar ones on eBay, but not this exact almost a beehive shape. It's really gorgeous. I value this one at 15 to 20. The two barrels together with the bucket 20. I'm just not sure about this guy. I'm hoping as with the cobalt mug and the Hazel Atlas tumblers that when I go back to Goodwill next time or in a couple of times there will be additional pieces that I can collect and sell multiples. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the shop, the update on my new floors, Bandit, and the hall, and I'll see you next time. Bye.